this was such a well-deserved win for Adams. He really was the class of the field, and you could see it. My name is Nate Adams. Some call me Patsy. Right now, the goal is just to get back to the rider I used to be, get back on top of my game, and feel like myself again. What's good? I'm Nate Adams, and this is the Adams Family. He's had a couple of rough years, but finally, Nate Adams has started to win again. And tonight, it's X Games Gold for Adams. In a world built on limitless creativity, Nate Adams helped define freestyle motocross as we know it. Just like the ocean tide, his career has swelled to the highest of heights and the lowest of lows. Kind of motocross, freestyle is kind of all the same as far as injuries, and you know we all have our fair share. So I wouldn't consider myself, uh, I guess, injury prone, but I've definitely had my fair share. And right here, out in the backyard, here at my house, about two weeks after last year's X Games, getting ready for another contest, and did a uh, holy grab, no hander lander, just messed up, landed a little off balance, my front end washed, tucked underneath me, and, and I just kind of went left side first into the ground, stuck my shoulder into the ground, and it just blew out. It was crazy. One of those crashes when I was going down, I was planning on, you know, picking my bike back up and getting back into the session, you know, maybe just laughing about it, you know, didn't, didn't see it coming to be anything, you know, I've crashed a hundred times in my life, and I know what a big one it is as compared to an easy one, so. Basically, you know, I went to the doctor, x-rays, MRI, you know, all that, and he uh, came through the door and said it's the worst shoulder he's ever seen and broke the humerus and bicep tendon and, you know, labrum and rotator cuff and broke the shoulder blade and, you know, so it's uh, basically it was time to get it fixed. For over 10 years, Patchy has worked to perfect his craft. In 2011, his hard work finally paid off. 2011, uh, was a cool year for me. It was probably my best year statistically. Uh, X Fighters 2011 was killer for me. I went to, uh, made it to four of them, won three of them. Last year's Summer X Games was killer, two golds. Really couldn't have dreamt up anything any better. The X Fighters series led right up to it. I was winning a lot on that series, and it just rolled right into X Games. And I just rode confident and strong, and it was just kind of one of those, I'll just remember that week forever for my whole life. It was just nothing, nothing went wrong, you know? Everything was right. I just don't even know what to say right now, but I thought by 04, I was on top of my game back then and young and dumb and fearless, and I thought I'd win it a half dozen times by now, And uh, but everything happens for a reason. So after first surgery, you know, had the, the shoulder and humerus and bicep tendon and all that repaired, and I was looking at a standard, you know, uh, three, maybe four month recovery time with, you know, physical therapy and, and you know, all the usual stuff. And then uh, two and a half months rolled around and three months rolled around and I was nowhere near being able to ride my bike. And uh, three and a half months rolled around and then four months rolled around and and uh, not, not really getting any better, you know? And uh, that's when I started seeking, I knew something else was wrong and I started uh, just going to doctor after doctor after doctor, to shoulder specialist, to shoulder specialist. To, joint specialist to nerve specialist and finally found out that uh, the axillary nerve which controls your deltoids in your shoulder was completely severed. As Nate knows all too well, you're only as good as your last performance. Struck down with injury, Nate spent the last nine months on the couch. You wanted to excel, you wanted to earn this so badly. What does it mean for all your hard work to pay off in front of the Staples Center crowd and leave here with back-to-back -back gold medals? Overnight, Nate found himself a prisoner in his own world, surrounded by his past accomplishments. He doesn't know if he'll ever return to where he once was. It's just crazy what a year can do, and right now I'm just trying to, you know, get my career back under me, get my career together. People ask me nearly every day, are you going to be what you were before? And I'm, you know, sometimes if it's someone close to me, I'll, I'll tell them, you know, I don't know. I, you know, if it's, if it's sponsors or whatever, you know, sometimes I'm like, yeah, you know. Like, I gotta, I gotta have that, at least a piece of me, believe that I'm gonna be what I used to be or more, but there's a part of me that definitely doesn't know. I'm just kind of holding on and, you know, and keep working, keep training, keep building, keep doing my stupid rubber band exercises I've been doing for eight months, and I just keep doing all the stupid, the stuff I feel stupid, but it's what's gonna, you know, get me back on the bike. So it's just, uh, you know, I kind of just feel scattered right now. Next time on The Adams Family. I honestly have no idea if I'll be even ready to able to ride X Games. I just have no idea where I'm at right now. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how you doing? Oh, not bad. That's good.